In this video we'll be discussing the topic of how long does it take for a communicator, a loved one, to come back to a medium and show that their life is in fact eternal. I'm Charlie Kelly and this is Masterclass. On many occasions I have people asking me after a demonstration or after a reading or after a workshop or a seminar that I am running, Charlie how long does it take for the spirit world to come in and show their communication? The fact of the matter is that it can happen immediately. It's simply down to the medium's mind that's working now. The communication can happen in an instant. So I've had it where they've been on the on, on the bed and they've literally just passed or they have passed that morning or the night before, the communication can happen. I've even had people book in on the way to a funeral uh, where they are uh, burying or crem cremating um, a friend or a loved one um, and they've, they've heard that I'm in the area and come and had a sit in then gone on to the funeral. So there is a lot of talk out there that it, sometimes they go into holding or sometimes they need to be educated on how to come through in the act of mediumship when in actual fact that just undermines the intelligence of the spirit world that we all talk about. On all the channels, on all the people preaching mediumship or spirit spirituality, they will talk of all of this transition and all of this holding area there, but that's actually misinformed or a misunderstanding from, from, from their point of view. The intelligence is great, it's just a state of consciousness and if we transition from the physical body into the spirit world like every single person does, then immediately that that touches there we can do the communication. We can have that intelligence come through. So we need to understand that the moment they pass, it is actually possible that they can communicate immediately. Now what you'll find is that some mediums will be frightened to do that. Their own mindset will be maybe they're not ready, maybe they don't want to talk, maybe they don't want to come and see you. And you have to ask yourself why would your mum or your dad or your brother, your sister, your loved one not want to do that? And so what we find is that the medium would rather go with the nana that bakes cakes, the grey-haired old lady, or the granddad, or, the, or the, um, the, the random that seems to appear, when in actual fact the loved one that you want to speak to will be there. It's down to the safety of the medium's mind. Are they confident enough to go and get it? So make sure that when you're booking a, a reading or when you're trying to find uh, communication, very specifically, I've lost my brother, my sister, my mum, my dad, that the medium that you're going to holds the credentials that you're looking for. It's like any other industry. You've got people that are very good within the industry and some that are just starting out and some that just have complete lack of misunderstanding and then obviously you have your cowboys and your charlatans. This profession is absolutely no different. So communications can happen immediately and they can also happen to all if the medium's mind is strong enough. I will leave the relevant videos in the card in the top corner. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I ask for your engagement on the video. Even share your views. Whether it's something that you disagree with, I encourage that we all speak up and we all talk about it. That way these things can be changed. So for now I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm Charlie Kelly and this has been Masterclass.